Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. I've been going through my SolidWorks uh, vault of stuff, experiments, exercises, etc. And come across this keyboard configurator thing that I put together, I don't know, a year or more ago. So this is an assembly and it's controlled with a, an external equations text file. So I've got most things in here with um, keycap ratio height including the bezel like the height this way uh, row heights um, bezel width uh, I just basically kept adding sputting things in as I found them and then setting up the parts to work with that external file so this basically controls a master file which is a series of sketches uh, and the equations in here if you have a look at the equations they're all looking at the external file and some of the equations are here, like the row heights are driven because they're like a bezel height minus a keycap height minus uh, a bezel height, etc. And that gives us a resultant dimension. So by using an external file, so by using an external file, I can go in here and we can just change the dimensions so make the whole lot 10 millimeters wider save the equations file and then hit rebuild and keyboard's growing 10 mils wider and everything's updated it's kept the same bezel width so the resultant widths have updated and there's other things you can control let's have a look keycap gap so that's the gap around the keycap save that Rebuild, yeah, so that's grown. What else? Have a look. Draft angle on the keycaps, um, battery diameter, yeah. So I just kept adding and adding and adding height of keycap above keyboard and hit rebuild, yeah. And there you go, got taller keycaps. So these keys are. I open one they're basically a single key and then I've got configurations controlling the dimensions and what um, dimensions they call out of that equation file to control the, the sketch here equation equation and then I've got the cursor keys in here as well except there's a chamfer so if I swap back over yeah so you can see the chamfer on the um, up and down cursor and another thing you can do is just swap out the equations file in the folder. So if I go to the folder, which is here, and I'll rename my equations file. And rename this other one, which I've already changed some dimensions in. Go back over into SolidWorks, hit rebuild. It'll take the information out of that file. Okay, and it's rebuilt something quite different there. Yeah, so I know this is um, not the most, uh, it's a bit of a dry topic, but I just thought I'd put this up in case anybody found it useful as far as driving assemblies and and things where you've got lots of repeating components, um, etc. Driving them with an equation file. Right, I'm going to cut it short here. I'll put the files in the description. Anybody wants to download this, more than welcome. And uh, if you find this useful, please consider subscribing. Thanks very much. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Bye.